Hello. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. Uh, I am aware that it is probably super echoey in here. There's a whole tile floor and literally the perfect scenario to get a lot of echo. We actually did get up for sunrise this morning with the plan on doing a little bit of POV action, but the uh, weather had different plans. Didn't really get a sunrise and had lots and lots of clouds, so the lighting was just really bad. But we also did want to take some little product photos. It's actually been quite a while since we took product photos at all and um, we want to take some today of our little xt30 and um, we did do this a while ago in a photo vlog and they're the only real photos we have like product style photos of the camera and it just looks too good not to take some more photos so we've got a few um little items lying around that we're going to use try and make a little scene of some sort little flat lay and we're going to try a few different shots and um, we are going to take a little trip to the shop, see if we can get a little map of some sort. We've been looking for some inspiration on Instagram and stuff. And I think the map idea looks kind of cool. So if we can get a little map of Ireland or a little word map or something to add in, it might look kind of cool. So I'm going to go now, see if we can get that and we'll check back. Hopefully we have one. Pretty poor weapon. Just a good old strap. We got a map. A map of Ireland, to be precise. Which should do the trick. I mean, ideally you probably want like a nice vintagey looking old map. Yeah. Couldn't get that, or at least not today anyways. But it's just the standard sort yeah. of look. I think we'll be able to make it look. It's probably only going to be a little portion of one or two of the photos. Probably the flat lay style one. Um, don't know if we'll cover the whole background with it or just part of the uh, yeah. coffee table. I think we're going to use this coffee table that we're sitting on. It's kind of got that rustic sort of vibe to it. Um, it's a little bit rough, so we might have to use this end because there's a few stains and stuff on it that you don't really want in your photos and I might have to clone them out. Mm. But going to use the uh, window light. Got a nice big window here in the apartment. Going to just move this closer to it, get a nice bit of side lighting and hopefully that looks good. Christina's gonna make tea now, aren't you? While we're doing our <laughs> photo shit. Oh. <laughs> Got the tea. No idea how many cups of tea we drink a day, but it's quite a few, isn't it? <laughs> quite. Who makes them all? Quite a few. You don't make them all. <laughs> quite a few though. Um, but yeah, I think the first shot we're going to go for is going to be the flat lay shot on the coffee table here. Um, probably going to be the one that's going to require the most fiddling around with things. Um, like I said, we've got a few different items and we're going to try and fit them together into a little scene that looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's see what we can come up with. Oh, just before we continue, we would really appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. I know it is a little bit early into the video, but it really helps the video go out to more of you guys that are already subscribed to the channel, helps them get to see it. So we would really appreciate it if you give the thumbs up button a little tap. And if you don't already have a cup of tea, get one.
Yes, that is the kettle boiling once again. <laughs> so it is the next day. We are back ready to take more photos with more tea. Uh, yesterday we actually spent a little bit longer, probably a little bit too long taking that flat lay shot and the light just faded really fast. So yeah, we're back today and got to try a few more shots. Um, tea and digestive biscuits is the greatest. Wouldn't you agree, Christine? <laughs> just because you said it, no, I would not. It's the greatest. The light is definitely a little bit harsher today. There isn't as many clouds, but I think that kind of works well with a little bit of contrast and stuff on the table and hopefully should work. Um, just a little uh, tip. Bit of, a bit of information or a tip from the first photo that we done yesterday. Um, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Didn't get to edit it yet, but I think it's gonna work. And um, we actually used this little bit of um, cork that was actually in um, one of the little candles we have. And it keeps the um, camera, so obviously the camera's the main. Christina just very kindly just <laughs> turned the camera off there mid, mid recording. Sorry. Um, what I was saying was this little bit of cork that we got in the in one of our little candles that we had. Um, obviously the subject of that flat light shot is the camera and there's a lot of stuff going on around it and sitting the camera flat on this just raises it up a little bit and it just means that the focus is on the camera and it allows the uh, rest of the items on the table just to be a little bit out of focus and um, which just draws more attention to the camera and yeah just a, just a little tip if you have something that you're taking a flat light shot of get something underneath it and just raise it above everything else a little bit but uh, yeah Let's go and take some more shots. I think we have like three or four more that we're going to try. Are we going to use this? We are going to use this uh, little um, fake, it looks like a little fake fern plant. Um, I like it. It's got some nice greens going on. Fits the uh, theme and works well in these type of shots. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, not sure exactly where I left off, but took a few extra shots there. Um, I was trying to get a couple of detailed ones because obviously we have the wide one. I was trying to get one of the little button that we have on it, just a few little textury ones. Um, I think they turned out all right. It was a little bit trickier. The light's sort of coming and going, so I'm, I'm hoping I can match the lighting a bit more, make mm -hmm. it look like they're all kind of took in the same sort of lighting. Uh, the oh map my. came into play. My hand stuck to it. Yeah, I used the map again for one of those just because I felt it was a little bit plain with just the wood. Um, we are using the Sony RX10 III, by the way, which is our other camera um, for these. Um, but it is nice to have a camera with a decent bit of zoom um, for them type of shots because you can really compress everything. My hand keeps sticking <laughs> to this map. You can really compress everything. Um, I use it there to blur past the little plant and stuff, which would be a lot trickier if not impossible to do on a wide lens. So. Zoom lenses are good for uh, product style photos. We're gonna try one more, just holding the camera, something like this, just by the strap against the wall. Hopefully we can get a nice bit of light for that, but I'm not sure. Um, but I think the photos so far are working. Uh, we'll get this last one and then we'll edit them up and give our thoughts on them. Uh, don't mind our old uh, granddad chair over here. It just came with the apartment to be Honest though, it's kind of growing on me a wee bit. It's a vibe. It's like a mustard. <laughs> yeah, it certainly has a vibe to it. Not sure. We may replace it. Or we may turn it. this actually into an editing look. Possibly. Yeah, we're still in the process of looking for like a desk and stuff and the idea is for a little uh, work setup. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for that. Well, 
it is cold and very blustery. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you can hear us okay, but it's not so bad. The little road video maker has never let us down in windy conditions, so we're hoping that it doesn't this time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got all the pictures done, um, got them edited up, and pretty happy with how that little uh, selection of photos went. Selection of photos, pretty happy with how that little oh, photo yeah. shoot went and the little photo set that we created. Um, yeah, turned out pretty good. Before we get on to our favourite ones, um, we did do a poll on our community tab. Uh, just a random little question. Do you prefer your photography at sunset or sunrise? Um, we thought it would be something we might do just from now on, just to mix in the community tab, little polls Sorry. <laughs> and stuff, and then talk about them in the video, just very briefly. Um, uh, sunrise got 28% and sunset got 72%. The clear winner, which is surprising. So right, I mean, I, I thought Sunset was going to win because yeah. I don't think people can be bothered getting up for Sunrise as much. Um, personally, I did vote for Sunrise. Yeah, I think Sunrise for us is probably our favourite. I think the photos we get at Sunrise, I don't know. We took one at the lighthouse in Dublin in the, a video or two ago and I just love how the sky looks and stuff. And I don't know if it would have looked that exact same way at Sunset. Also, we like when there's no people around. Yeah, there's also no people at sunrise, so you get the whole place to yourself, and yeah, I don't know, but that's our thoughts. I prefer sunrise, but yeah, just a little poll thing. We'll, we'll maybe do more. Um, just <laughs> can you just look at that sun? Yeah, the sun is look just peeking through the clouds what back the there. Um, okay, favorite photo. Favorite photo is I, I like the flat lay one. It was the original idea, and I like how it turned out. Everything worked kind of well. The lighting could have been a little bit better. Just to, if it was a little bit higher, it would have caught the lens a little bit more and just made the camera stand out even more. But I do like how that one turned out. Yeah, it, it's probably one of my favorites too. And I also like the kind of close up texture one of the camera strap. Um, and you can also see our new little camera button. All of that is to come in another video very soon. Yeah. But I do like, I don't know, there's something about that photo. I just, I just like, it just it speaks to me. Yeah, we tried it. I knew when we wanted to make a little photo set that we wanted to mix it up a little bit, get a couple of closer up ones. Probably could have got another one, um, maybe even closer again, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that one's quite cool. And I'm just happy with how they turned out. The uh, last few, the last two holding it against the wall didn't turn out as nice as I would have hoped, but I'm still happy with them. And we managed to match the colors in with the rest of the set. So worked out pretty well. So yeah, before we uh, lose all the light, the sun is dipping down really quickly. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that little one. I, I found it quite nice to do, um, kind of relaxing and yeah, just... It's quite, it's quite nice knowing that you can do a little photo shoot at yeah. home and not have to worry about going out and, and worry about conditions and stuff. So Yeah, so if you would like to see more of that, let us know. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. And maybe consider hitting the subscribe button too if you want to see more. I believe so. As we always say guys, take it easy. Don't be a stranger.